how to create a journal on Canva for Amazon KDP. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own journal for Amazon KDP using Canva for free. So let's get into it. Now, before you get started with creating your journal, you need to understand how to actually get the template. So for that, you're just going to go on to kdp.amazon.com. Then you're going to select the option. So that is going to be the size of your journal or your book. What I'm going for is a six by nine inch book. So I'm going to select that over here and then you're going to add the number of pages so i'm going to go with 120 pages and i'm just going to click on download the cover template and this is very important make sure you actually do that before you get started on canva because this is a very essential step for designing and creating your canva journal so what you're going to do once you have that downloaded is that you're just going to unzip this file and this is just going to be an image like this so this is what the file is going to look like once you unzip it or once you extract it so it's just a template for you to work on now this is very important because this will help you design your journal accordingly. So what you're going to do now is you're just going to go on to Canva and then you're going to click on custom size. You're just going to click on a custom size and once you do that, you're going to make sure to change it from pixels onto inches. Now make sure to do that. Once you click on custom size on default, it is always on pixels and not on inches. So the first thing you need to do is understand how to make your internal pages. Now. This is totally up to you. If you want to design your book cover and the book back first, you can do that. But I'm going to start off with the actual book size. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a look at this. So you see that this is six inches and this is nine inches, but you're going to be taking this entire as a canvas. So what you're going to do is you're going to make this 12 inches in width, and then you have to account for the spine. So the spine is 2.9 width. So that already is 12.29. Then you have to account for this red part it's called the bleed so the bleed is where your paper is being cut and this is like a plus minus situation you might you know the paper might be a bit too short and you want your design to fill out the entire book cover or your entire book page so what you're going to do is you are just going to first off uh, account for the blind uh, or the bleed i'm sorry it's called the bleed you're going to account for the bleed as well so for the bleed it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 on each side so it is going to be 12 so 12 is this plus this and then you have 2.9 plus 5 plus 5 12.52 uh, in my estimate so that's going to be 12.52 or 12.53 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the uh, width into 12.54 just to be safe i have increased the width by a point but that is just so my design fills out correctly now i have the height now for the height you don't have to do a lot of mats you just have the six inch length plus you're going to add two five and two five for the top and bottom bleed so it's going to be 9.25 0.1.5 and 0.1.5 so it's going to be 9.25 we're just going to click on lock over here and you're just going to click on create new design so once you have done that you're just going to go on to your uploads over here and you're just going to click on upload media and you're just going to upload the template that i just showed you that image that we just downloaded off of amazon kdp we are just going to upload it over here so you're just going to open that up and i'm just going to upload it now once you have uploaded it you're just going to click on the image and then you're going to set it on the corners and then you're just going to expand it now if you sized correctly then it should fit perfectly onto your canvas like it just did on mine so you can see that this fits perfectly on the canvas that i created that means my calculations are correct so you want to make sure that you do your calculations accordingly now the spine width can depend on how many pages you have i added 120 pages so your spine width is going to be different than the spine width of my book if you have more or less pages and make sure that you're adding your measurements accordingly now once you have done that you're just going to click on transparency and you're going to make this semi-transparent to translucent so you can start with designing your book cover while having this in the back as a guidance or a reference on where to design so i'm going to set this at 35 and i'm just going to click on lock so this lock will enable me to not accidentally move this book cover and now i can get started with designing my journal so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go on to elements and i'm just going to search for maybe floral background i'm just gonna make this like a flowery notebook so i'm just gonna go into the graphic section i'm just gonna scroll down and find something that i like this is a pretty cute little theme or i'm just gonna keep on looking until 
something catches my eye now you can select any kind of background that you want whatever kind of aesthetic that you're going for you're going to select accordingly so i really like this one this seems pretty interesting so i'm just going to wait for this to load and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this semi-transparent as well and you might be wondering why are you making everything transparent well the reason for that is so i can see the back template that i just placed i want to be able to view that so i can accurately design the rest of my journal so i'm just going to place this and i'm going to see where it fits perfectly so i'm just going to expand it out a bit as well and i want to make sure that everything is fitting accordingly like this so i think this seems pretty good now after i have done that i'm also just going to click on this now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on to the graphics section once more, the element section, and then I'm going to search for a flower. And I'm going to go on to the graphics section. Now I'm just going to take uh, this kind of floral wreath, you could say, and I'm going to change up the colors into like blues because I think those would actually look really nice with the overall aesthetic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it over here because this is going to be like the place where people write their names. So I'm going to make one of those spaces. I'm just going to rotate this to 90 degrees. I'm just going to do control C and control V. So I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to do control C and then control V. And you can see the flower has been copied. I'm going to rotate that like so. And now I'm just going to place it on the other side like this. And you can just zoom in on a singular page when you're designing. So to make it a bit more easier for you. I have designed quite a few journals. So I'm just used to doing it like that. And now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to search for box. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on to the graphics section and I'm just going to search for like a simple box or I'm just going to search for square and I'm going to search for that in the graphics and maybe rectangle. So this looks pretty decent, but I'm going to search along and I'm going to find something else. I want something a bit different. Now, this is very cute. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to add this over here like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for flowers once more. I'm going to go into the graphics section. And I want to place like a thin flower line to differentiate the spine. So I want the spine of the book to have like a small layer of flowers. And these are pretty good for that job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up the colors to fit the color scheme. And I'm just going to change the green to a darker blue like this. And this or maybe these. Yeah. I think this looks pretty good so i'm just gonna place these over here on the center of the spine i'm gonna do Control c and Control v and i'm just gonna set these like so i'm just gonna keep on connecting them and i'm gonna place these on the spine of our book so i'm just gonna do that and it's just gonna take a couple of seconds for you to complete the entire spine like this make sure everything is aligned like this i have my book cover ready so the final step is to actually just click on your canvas and then you're just going to click on unlock and then you're just going to click on delete so you have now deleted the background image and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this image over here and i'm just going to increase the transparency so this is it this is how you create a simple amazon kdp journal using canva i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video